Hi, in this video we'll be looking at an effect that you might like to add to your web page, which is uh, using text shadows um, with the text shadow property in CSS code. So with the text shadow property uh, in CSS, you can add either a shadow effect to text or you could make text uh, glow. Okay, so we'll look at how to do that in this tutorial. Basically what I've got at the moment is I've got just a single paragraph in the body section of my web page, and then I'm uh, linking a, an external style sheet, a CSS file called theme.css, which I've got open here on the right hand side. So at the moment, if I have a look at my web page, uh, I've zoomed in on it, but there's just a, um, a plain uh, paragraph there. Okay, so what I might do first is just uh, change the font to something else. I can use the default. I'll just make it Arial, which I think will work a little bit better uh, for text shadows. Now to add a text shadow to, and I'll just make a bit more room here, to add the text shadow effect to um, a paragraph or a heading, uh, or any kind of text content on the page, you just use the text shadow property. And there are four different values here. Uh, so or four different attributes. The first is the horizontal shadow. So that's how much the shadow is going to be to the left or the right of each letter in the text or each character. So a positive number, for example, three pixels, will display a shadow to the right of each letter in the text. And a negative number, for example, minus three pixels, will display a shadow to the left. So that's the first attribute, that's the horizontal shadow. Second attribute is the vertical shadow, so that's how much shadow is above or below the text. So again, that can be a positive or a negative number uh, to, to move it up or down. And the third attribute is the blur radius, so that's how much blur you actually want for the shadow. Um, and last attribute is the color for the shadow. So uh, what I might do before I add a uh, text shadow is I'll just specify the color. So initially I'll just make the uh, text color just black, um, but I'm going to uh, specify a color for the shadow. So, as I said, first attribute is the horizontal shadow. I'll make it three pixels, so the shadow is going to be three pixels to the right of each letter. Then we've got the vertical shadow, it's the second attribute. I'll just do three pixels for that as well. And then we've got uh, the blur radius, I'll make that five pixels. And then lastly is the shadow color. So I'll make this gray. Okay, so that's it. We've got four different uh, attributes there, four different values for those attributes. Just saved that, I'll go back and refresh my page. And there we go, we've got a, a shadow that's sort of to the right and below each, each letter in this text, and it's gray. Okay, um, I'll just change the color. I'll make this, uh, say, blue text and I'll make the shadow purple, save and refresh. There we go. Now we could uh, change the blur radius, just lower that to two pixels and see how um, it's not as soft as it was before. So making it five pixels had a nice, nice blur to it. Making it one or two pixels is going to reduce that, that blur the shadow is more defined. All right, um, what I'll do now though is instead of making three pixels and then three pixels, so for horizontal and vertical shadow, I'm gonna change that to zero. And what this will do is kind of make the text glow instead of having a shadow. All right, now I've still got five pixels for my blur, but if I reduce that a little bit, say two pixels, uh, it's just, it's a much smaller, um, subtle glow that I've got there, All right? So that's basically how you, you add a, a text shadow. You specify uh, the horizontal shadow, so how much you want the shadow to the left or right of the text. Vertical shadow, uh, how much you want it um, above or below the text. Remember, you can use um, negative numbers here as well. All right. And same for uh, 
vertical, if I wanted to move the shadow up instead of down. So there's a, a number of different options here. Horizontal, shadow, vertical shadow, both can be either positive or negative. Then you've got the uh, blur radius, so how much blur you want for the shadow, and then the color that you want for the shadow. That's it. Thanks for watching.